from our endless trips with my husband and friends of ours, brimful of impressions, and we shared it lavishly with our friends. But every time, happily, we got into very funny situations, thanks God we got of them successfully. Once being in China, in Luoyang, on our way to uh, the Emperor's Gardens to see pomegranate trees in blossom. We stayed in Luoyang for two days, and the first evening we were coming back from seeing wonderful pagoda, 12 geese, and passing by a restaurant, local Chinese restaurant, not hotel restaurant, but local Chinese restaurant, we felt divine smell of something roasty, and we entered. There were just few people sitting around the tables, but the tables were not used, uh, hadn't got used to. In the middle of each table there was a stewpan with boiling broth. And the idea is that you throw there the variety of meat, sliced, uh, mostly transparent, and uh, take your sticks and get it out readily. But the matter is, which made it much worse, they brought us the menu in Chinese. But we are not specialists in that language, as you know. Uh, and haven't got English menu at all, not to mention Russian. <laughs> What's to be done? Some people are easy to get lost but not us. My husband has a very rarely, I would rather say, divine ability uh, to find situation, to make any situation funny. So he pretended that he got everything, that he chosen everything, and start pointing to other tables, saying what he wants for the starters. But what about me? How can we explain what meat we want? and he started performing. <laughs> <laughs> he produced all the sounds he remembered, first of all from the American country songs of McDonald's Caddy Farm, and there are some sounds that they will do. Because first of all, if you produce either in Russian fru fru or in English oink oink, Chinese don't understand what it means. <laughs> and he dropped back, he moved, or he oinked, Whatever. He tried to show booze at Karida. <coughs> but our waitress was dying of laughter. She could hardly serve us. Then one by one, the whole kitchen crew started appearing, one by one, standing around us. Starting with the chef himself. And they were pleased at the utmost. They clapped, they smiled, they clapped their hands. But they didn't understand what we mean by that. They decided that the person is just was funny person, funny gentleman coming to their restaurant. But my husband likes uh, listeners and viewers. And it gave him strength. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't stop. It's not stopping him at all. He will um, cheeked and uh, croaked as a, a rooster. Uh, making some uh, well, gestures or the wings and looking for an egg somewhere under the table. <laughs> so they were dying of laughter, but didn't move to give or bring us something. <laughs> then when my husband lost his energy at last, he told me, Natalia, draw it, because <laughs> the only thing he could draw is a cat. But I doubt they've got cat in the kitchen and I wouldn't <laughs> use it otherwise. Or the only thing he could draw was uh, an elephant from the boat, <laughs> from the front, <laughs> an elephant. <laughs> then, what should I do? I started drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so they got the idea what we want. <laughs> and they drew some other animals on the um, on the stuff that was on the table on the other side of the menu and they brought us everything slightly uh, sliced 
very similarly, all sorts of animals keep reduced. And one by one, people start coming because there was something interesting in this restaurant if they, people saw it from the outside. And the house very soon was full. The waitress couldn't stop laughing because those three tourists well, maybe the first Russians they saw in their life, and they were so funny, and they brought us her additional meat or something. But the, what made it much worse was that my husband couldn't use sticks. I like using sticks uh, while eating. My friend as well. We enjoyed our life because we took this meat and you sliced it and you look at it. It's paradise. But my husband didn't. <laughs> Demanded the spoon, but they haven't got a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they brought him some instrument. I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth, to take it home and have the uh, boiling broth. So, uh, when we were leaving, the whole kitchen again, the crew, showed us, shaking hands, which is the last, personally. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't know at that time how it is, uh, thank you, in Chinese. But they, mm, mm, we didn't pay for the beer because we just <laughs> invited so much extra people coming. <laughs>